Yeah, I don't know. Nitro versus Pastor. They both, I feel like they both attend this tournament pretty often, so maybe they play before, but me personally haven't seen them both against each other. I have seen this matchup quite a bit. Uh, Void's Joker versus T and Leo's Joker versus T. In both instances, or one instance, we saw Leo beat T and uh, all seen T just beat Void, bro. But I don't know, so I'm not sure if the matchup is like not so bad for Pac-Man or is this T being amazing? We'll see. Nitro is a higher ranked player than uh, Pastor, so, you know, judging by like skill wise, maybe this should go in his favor, but Pastor's a pretty good Pac Man, and there's not that many Pac Man in uh, SoCal that play like competitively. Yeah. So, we have very, very few. The only one I can think of is at least as active as much is going to be Tom Long. Yeah. At least yeah. active as much. I don't want to hear about your cousin who plays Pac-Man over there in the IE, man. Sorry. You're not here right now. <laughs> oh. Nice stall off stage. That's something that Pac-Man actually has in this match that's good for him. Is that he has a really good option of uh, stalling out Joker's arch stand just by hanging off stage. He has so many different things he can do off stage that take a very, very long time to get back. Like the side B, the uh, trampoline, uh, the hydrant stalling a little bit as well. If he wants to, he can just say, you know what, I'm not going to try to fight our stage. You have to chase me off stage and make like, a risky play, you know? So far, so far so good for both players. Not really, oh damn, I was going to say, not really falling into anything that's like crazy or doing something super unsafe, but kind of a YOLO uh, side B to power the up smash. You, you always got to watch even default Joker's uh, up smash. I think a lot of people, would, oh nice, nice trap in the show there. But yeah, I think a lot of people think that uh, when he doesn't have Arsene, he's not as scary. Like, he can't kill him, but he's still can. Nice, chase down all the way against the first hit of the air. Pastor's really dribbling uh, the apple really well, but he's not getting that much off of it, unfortunately. Yeah, look at these forward airs. I'm just amazed at how much better Pac Man's aerials are in this game. Always oh, trying to do the as a character too, all together. Honestly, yeah. the character you really needed these buffs. Yeah, and uh, he's just a really iconic character. So it's kind of cool that he's a you know actual viable tournament character. You know? I was actually really excited for Pac-Man when they first like announced him in the game. I just never expected he would actually be like a playable Smash character. Just because like the way he is in this game, like what is he gonna do? You know, like he, he just eats pellets. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. I mean, it's kind of hard to imagine the way. Pac-Man would play back in the day, right? But yeah, here we right. are, years later. Yeah, I definitely think uh, Sakurai deserves, deserves some credit for how uh, he made Pac-Man work. Yeah, he deserves a lot of credit for how well thought out he had Pac-Man's moveset, not only as a character, but also oh. the history of Namco. Oh no, the trampoline from the level will save him. I, didn't, I thought he had it initially a little bit towards the left side. Dang, that's unfortunate. It's like... It's one thing when you get hit by Arsene Joker, but then you get hit by Arsene Joker and your own hydrant. Like, that's just way too much knockback. So this is one thing that's good against uh, Pac-Man as Joker game. The stock lead and just being able to hang back and let Pac-Man just try to approach him. Because Joker can just whip punch a lot of characters really well. It's because he's so fast and his move come out really quick as well. He also gets rewarded off a of grab too. So if you just do something unsafe, you can still grab. He will combo you really hard. I, I don't know, I've seen uh, Pastor in this situation five times. There's a uh, Kante, like, at least like four, three or four of his sets. But, uh, yeah, he kind of slows when he's forced to approach. Yeah. As a lot of, like, zoning type characters do. Usually they have more strength towards, you know, giving you a little out, and then confirm off of your options, like, for Pac-Man, but Pastor here is kind of behind all the stuff. It's rough because Pac Man's like a setup character, and then you're behind, and the opponent's just like waiting for you to do a certain setup and not falling into it. Yeah. It's, it's difficult. You can even find yourself going into like a uh, television and going into like a, a pattern that's really good. Exactly. And especially for a character like Joker, who's really good at getting three punishes, all pretty much like has to be three oh. options like that and get punished. Makar Khan. I really forgot he has a reflector as well. That's like so strong in this He is. I'm not gonna lie. Whatever happened to pre patch, I'm sorry, pre game, um, Corin counter is pretty much what Makara turn is. Because that hitbox is ridiculous. You mean pre game for like this game? Yeah. I never. Corin's Cor counter was ridiculous back in the day. Oh, I had no idea. In Ultimate. Uh, 
Oh, okay. No one did. I thought you were talking about ultimate. I was like, what the heck? No one did that. No, the, I don't even remember what Korn, if Korn wasn't even in the demo. Three, she was. Because uh, Abadango picked Korn. Or Abadango or, or, or Armada. Bring like the invitational initiative for the world. Anyway, FD. Not surprised to see Pac Man take a uh, joke at this stage. Yeah, I feel like a lot of Pac Man, I mean, again, any zoning character, <clears throat> likes to pick this stage. Just because they have more room to set up. But, uh, I don't know. I feel like Nitro has just been hanging back. Like, alright, I know what Pac Man wants to get, like, a setup here. I have, like, the tools to just hang back and not force anything. Because I have a decent projector myself, you know? So, uh, yeah, I want to see what Pac going to change up to actually take Nitro, like, off guard, you know? Again, he's going to try to stall off stage just a little bit. Nice. Kind of careful on the landing here, but unfortunately going for the air, air dodge one. He can't nice with that opportunity. Oh, he got a watch the tether grab. Last so long. Also good for Pac-Man that his, like, grab is actually functional in this game. <laughs> <laughs> or you could, like, if you got grab at Pac-Man, you would just... Then he just stood there. And he just waited, and yeah. Pac-Man's grab was just the worst. Nice ledge jump, though. A lot of people, um, I feel like people instinctively hold in when they get ledge chunk, but that time, Passer didn't do much, he just immediately got hit by it. Okay, so, oh man, see how I gonna say, okay, something that's really good for Joker in as you can see, is the down guns, like the rainstorm. It hits Pac-Man's recovery, and like, it actually takes away the health of the trampoline. So right there, like he shot up the trembling a little bit to where he had one more use left, and he landed up back right back on top of it. So, this is something else that's really good for Joker. This, this is just a really good Joker matchup overall. What happened? All right, nice. You got the ledge twice. really good for Nitro right now. Uh, Pac, like he, again, like he's just not falling into any of uh, Passer's setups. Yeah. And again, that's like something I noticed is a bit of a, ch a challenge for Passer. But wow, I've never seen Strawberry work like that. I've never seen the Strawberry combo into anything like that before. I'm not even sure if that was a combo, but he made it work. Fourth throw. He was looking for an opportunity to go for the edge guard. Yeah. Missed it, right? Oh, then you gotta worry about the Rebels guard because you don't get the right. combos out of up throw. And RSN activated. Wait, hold on, hold on. This is his last stock. Oh! Oh, no, and the oh last hit of downer from oh the Oh my god. Far side. <laughs> Yo. Alright, so Pac-Man's forward air. Pac-Man's forward air actually does carry you to the blast zone like that. But right there, I just think Nitro was scared to press any buttons. I don't think that was guaranteed. I know that downer has a ton of knockback, so it should kill him that spot. But I think Nitro was like deer in the headlight situation there. Once he got forwarded into the blast zone, I think yeah. he just didn't want to press anything. But I, he definitely could have like air dodged in to avoid that, I, I feel. Still, what the heck was that comeback? What the, I was like saying that he just like having a rough time, like it's rough for him to come back. And now, El Paso got all the momentum, dude. I don't know if uh, Nitro's in the right you know, mental space after getting like sham wild like that. That was crazy. I've, I've never seen Tiger do that before. Yeah. At least not in like a tournament. But hey man, at least Pax is going to go out with a fight. Even with Arsene and the odds against him. Yeah, that was, that was sick. That's a sick comeback. Yeah, nice. Oh, I like it because he waits for the get up to really see if he's going to attack or not. Yep. No, he's got the strawberry again. Alright, Pax was definitely playing much better this time. Oh, stop. Okay. He's like just throwing out the apple now. I think he's just noticing he's getting more off these uh, fruits. So he's just trying to see how far he can take it. Because Nitro's not blocking them or reflecting them as consistently as he was before. This is like the, the first time I've seen uh, Pastor have a good lead too. And usually, 
this is where Pac Man is at his strongest, right? Like, he has the lead, your forceful approach, you start running into all of his setups. Going for the water player? No, he's too late on that. I think he wanted to get the water duck to push the bill. Something silly like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa chill. <laughs> I don't know what that hydro was. <laughs> that looked so weird. <laughs> he, was, he was going for the extra setup, man. That's what he wanted. Nice taking downwards. I mean, for Nitro at this point, right, he doesn't want to be approaching pass a little bit too much. So what he's doing for it is he's trying to just aggravate pass with the Bob. And honestly, Ooh. oh no, nice. that would have been tough. What he's honestly doing too is being a boy, being on the ground enough to be into one of Pac Man's setups. So going for aerial take aim would be good, but unfortunately on the ground, it's not going to be enough. Yeah, he caught him in the lag from the gun animation. And now, Pastor's trying to turn up, trying to get the Galaga extended combos, man. He yeah. has so much percentage to hit at low percent. Alright, let's see how Nacho gets this stock. Pac Man can actually snowball uh, really well when he's in a lead like this. It's like the biggest test of patience because you're finding a character that just wants to play as much in between you and him as possible, and you have to find your way in. All right, if he's a if he's a Pac-Man player right now, he can literally just hang, like charge through, hang out the ledge, and just wait for his RC to go like away. It, he, if he's gonna run away. Anyway. Yeah. The one thing I do like from a, uh, sorry from Nitro is that he just went for hang on. He didn't want to go ahead and approach faster. He wanted to make sure the fire hydro was gone. But you have to worry about the fact that it is 50% of damage, not initially, because even though Aegon does do up to 30% of damage, roughly, over, that's over damage over time, yeah. rather than... So you mean the, in, the initial hit is what counts for Aegon? Exactly. Okay. That's fine. So you have to at least be doing more damage than just... I think Aegon is like 6%, so even though it doesn't amount to like 29% over time, it has to be way more than that. Alright, Nitro Sean, we're going to come back, though. Pastor hasn't really gotten a significant hit on a Nitro in quite a bit. Yes. This is a, all right, good grab, but yeah, Pass is one of the few Pac-Man who like, I see that goes for the, the the melon consistently, like the slow one. It's kind of hard to make that one work. Oh, he's not going to get hit by the high speed here. Still, I like, guess it's really rough for Nitro to get a good hit. Like, but he can. Uh, he has Arsene now, so he can hit really hard and maybe get an earlier stock. So if I'm faster, I wouldn't want to do anything super risky. Just try to hold on to his lead as much as possible and wait for the kill to come to him. Anyway. Nice weights. At this point, Nitro doesn't want to go ahead and give away too much. Careful with one of the platform there. I feel like that's one thing that Pass is trying to do is making sure oh, he has the setups. It. Oh, he and he, oh, man. Okay, Nitro. that was really smart too because he had the fire hydrant away. And at that opportunity, Nitro had disregarded the fire hydrant yeah. entirely. He Z dropped the actual bell and then yeah. jumped enough so that it would have hit Nitro. Yeah, and I, I, I thought Nitro was seeing that coming the way that he was setting it up. I, I, I've seen that Pac Man set up quite a bit. I mean, you're just hanging far away like that. Uh, he was on the other side of the stage. Like, you saw the hydrant on the other side. That's rough for Nitro not getting that, but this is. This is just what Caster needs, and this would be an upset considering Nitro is one of the highest uh, seeded tournament uh, players in this tournament. And Nitro's making this, uh, oh, sorry, Caster's making this look look really doable for himself right here. Yeah. Big lead, uh, in my opinion. If he can just hold on to like, I say if he gets like 50, 60% on uh, Nitro, he's in a really good spot. But yeah. run away from Aegon, man. Stop trying to fight him. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't fight, sorry, don't fight him. Arsene, Arsene. No, in don't in fight general, Arsene. run away from Aegon, run away from back air, run away from Arsene. All, all of it, all yeah. of it. All right. This is why I said that 60% on Nitro right now. Hydrant's still in play if you can get it to work. Oh no, it just disappeared. Get off. Oh, the only the roll's still not gonna get him killed. 168. Have to ledge a little bit. No one has ability, but nice. He waited for the get up. I would say down. No, up no, throw would have been down. It's gonna be up throw that kills the higher percentage. I've never seen up throw kill a joke actually. I've I've only seen it once at 190. Up throw. No, I'm not. No, it's still a little bit. Damn. Oh, he caught it. Did he use like the grappling hook to catch that? Sorry, I want to say it was not only to catch it, but also as look, if you get the late hit of it, it will hit your opponent. Like, especially where Pac-Man was, that high percent would have took care of Pac-Man. So it's kind of like a two for one almost at that point. Oh, watch out. No, yeah. too slow, too slow. But uh, yeah, let's see if Nitro can uh, bring this back. Joker has all the damage output. And uh, Pastor, I don't know, he doesn't seem to be like panicking or anything though. He actually seems really confident that he can just close this one out right here. Yeah. I mean, at this point, right, Ooh. a couple more hits in and we'll have to, we have to work the camp on set. So. Oh, dash tag. Wait, wait, wait. Taking that works. He's still fine, too, at that point, either than the ledge. 
I didn't see what bell or sorry what fruit um pastor has right now. Alright, Nitro actually brought this back. Dang. What was happening? How did Nitro bring this all the way back? Yeah. I would I wouldn't want to see Pastor drop this big lead. Especially since he's so close to winning. There's the there's the apple. Yeah, and nobody has our sent out too. That's one thing we want to our account for. Oh man, this is so scary. Get off the platform. Oh! Oh no. Four throw. Seeing some jitters coming out from Pastor right now. Yeah, Shot I mean, oh. tensions are high back here. Oh, he still has just a sliver of arson left too. Yeah, he has to go for that low recovery. Oh, wait. Good to go away. All right, nice brave there to hit him out of the corner. We got some more uh, room to work with here. But, oh. I like it too. Nitro didn't want to be around there out of fear from the hydrant. Oh, Watch retreat right. towards the ledge. I kind of don't like it. He oh gave my, away a oh lot of the stage goodness. control, oh and that's pretty goodness. much what allowed Nitro to take it. If he had not retreated towards the ledge, he would be looking at a different game. Oh, that's rough. You hate to see it in like that, especially.